Welcome back. You're watching Meet the Diplomat. Before the break, we were discussing the huge tourism potential that we both are having, Colombia and India. How are we thinking to cooperate with each other in this direction? Uh, well, we are working on that. Um, one of the issues that is going to be considered at this conclave that I was telling you is uh, tourism, uh, precisely. We are all very interested, all of our countries, in tourism from, from India. And, of course, we have a large potential also from our countries to visit India. In fact, we have uh, a good amount of Colombians com coming to India every year, uh, being such a fantastic, wonderful uh, country. And um, Colombia also offers fantastic opportunities for tourism. We have wonderful beaches. Uh, uh, wonderful colonial cities, uh, plains, uh, the mountains. We have three mountain ranges that uh, cross Colombia from south to north. So that gives us a, a very special uh, uh, geography and, uh, and the sceneries. Uh, so uh, it is uh, also extremely interesting. Uh, and we are working on this field. Um, I would like to invite you to come sometime over to Colombia. You'll find that it's uh, amazing, really, really beautiful. Certainly. But uh, Colombia also has won the venue for the 17th Assembly of World Tourism Organization that is to be held in 2007, yes. that means this year. Will it be able to be a boost to promote tourism industry in your country? I think. I think it is extremely important. We gave it, uh, we gave for this. Uh, candidacy of the city of Cartagena, the highest importance. Uh, and India uh, was one of the countries that gave us uh, their support. Um, there was another candidate that was a nation country. And, um, and we got the support of the Indian government on these occasions, for which we are very, very grateful. I think uh, the meeting in Cartagena is, is going to to show uh, the world uh, the, the, the beauties of Colombia. And, uh. Tourism uh, is a sector where we can work together and explore a lot of things. But do you think in your country, insurgency groups are major hurdles? There are some groups, uh, in the, some very isolated parts of the country. But uh, I wouldn't say that that could affect uh, tourism. Recently, what happened? A uh, lot many people got killed. How do you say that people are safe there? We have uh, had, of course, uh, some military actions in, in some very isolated parts of the country. No? But uh, what you are mentioning happened because of uh, the failure of military? No, I think the mainly military have been very, very successful in this. As I was, uh, as I was telling you, the, all of these groups have been weakened. And they are very weakened at this moment. So I think the military strategy has been very successful. No, but the carnage that happened, the loss that you have. Yes, but this is... An, uh, it shows, it shows uh, the Well, there is still some, power. some problems in some parts of the country, yes. But what steps are you taking to We are this? taking all of the necessary steps to try to terminate, to finish with this uh, problem, no? All of the necessary steps through infrastructure, through economic development, through military action, through education. So I think we are going to be very successful in the following year. U.S.-backed military strategies are being a help? Well, the U.S. has been extremely helpful for, for us. It's not a U.S. military strategy. It's a Colombian strategy. We have had the, the, the aid, very important aid of the United States. Uh, through Plan Colombia, um, and uh, this was focused mainly, mainly to economic recovery, economic, economic development, uh, to fortify the justice uh, system. It's not just a military strategy. So uh, one of the components of that uh, plan had a military strategy, but uh, that is to combat against drug trafficking. And one of those strategies is the aerial spraying that we are doing. 
with the aid of the United States. That it has been extremely important for us, of course. And what role you've seen of India in sorting out the problems that Colombia is going through? The Indian government has always been very close to us in, uh, in all of our, our issues. And uh, what so more do you expect to enhance the ties that we've We hope to, to find uh, um, uh, niches for, for several other Colombian products to come into India. So we are working on all these fields. And coffee, course, coffee, for example. Right. Thanks for talking. And we hope we Thank you touch very much. new degrees, dimensions Thank in the you coming, very much. coming years.